my dad, one of the very few things that we shared in common is that we loved racing. We would watch races and uh, loved the excitement about it. And that's why this trip was such a big deal. So I didn't really grow up in church and I, uh, my dad was pretty, he was a pretty rough dude. In fact, he was, um, he was in the mafia at one point in time in his life. He was in prison, in and out of, he was a constant con man, so I uh, didn't have that example for me growing up uh, for manhood or for my faith. And so uh, when I went off to college, I kind of went down a dark path, which landed me in jail eventually. And I uh, went to an event called Promise Keepers. A friend invited me to go, and that's where I gave my life to the Lord at age 20. And as audibly as God can speak to someone, I heard God calling me into ministry and even specifically youth ministry in that moment. And uh, I, as I got involved in youth ministry, I realized as God spoke to me that this is where I'm supposed to be uh, so that I can help kids uh, who were, especially who were like me growing up who didn't have a faith example or example of a dad and uh, so I've been doing that for 21 years. I've been serving as a youth pastor for 21 years, helping middle school, high school kids and college students um, escape some of the most uh, chaotic years of their life with their faith. And uh, grew up a big NASCAR fan and love, love racing. My dad, one of the very few things that we shared in common is that he, we loved racing. We would watch races and me and my uncle, when I moved to Alabama, would get together and watch races after his wife, my aunt, passed away and um, just carried that on into, into my years and always loved, loved the sport, loved the passion, uh, loved the excitement about it. And that's why this trip was such a big deal. Uh, every part of it, getting out in a, in a car, putting the suit on, putting the helmet. I mean, honestly, I could have got just put the suit and the helmet on, sat in the car. And, it would have been worth the whole trip, but getting to drive around this track, getting to race guys in the go-karts today, though, are quite a grade above the uh, commercial go-karts you get to ride at Panama City Beach. And, uh, and then tomorrow, um, I don't even know how to put it into words to get out on the Charlotte Motor Speedway and uh, ride with Ward Burton, one of my favorite drivers, and then um, actually get to drive uh, around the track. So I'm very excited about that as well.